Instead of telling a story, what if I told you about an important letter that someone wrote to talk about a special gift? Red letter. Dear Grandma, for my birthday, I would like a gift certificate to my favorite restaurant, Chocolate Burger. My parents usually just give me everything I want before I even ask for it. What? This letter is a little different. It's written by one of Jesus' disciples, Paul. And he wrote the letter to the people of a church in a place called Ephesus. The letter is full of wonderful advice about how the people should live their lives in ways that honor God. But I'm guessing it's good advice for us too. Oh yeah. Sometimes the outside world thinks Jesus' disciples are weak because they love and pray for their enemies. Paul says that Jesus' disciples are actually really strong because mean people aren't the real enemy. The real enemy is the devil and his sneaky ways. Sneaky? How? The devil tries to mess up our relationship with God by trying to lead us to sin. That's when the gift of the Holy Spirit comes in. The Holy Spirit. He helps us fight against the devil's lies and temptation. In the letter, Paul says the protection of the Holy Spirit is like a suit of armor. Judge! Awesome! Soldiers wear armor in battle. We put on the armor of God and we can stand strong. The first piece of armor Paul says we should put on is the belt of truth. Knowing God's truth helps us recognize the devil's lies. Next, we can put on the breastplate of righteousness. How do you get righteousness? Righteousness just means clean from sin. Everyone on earth has sinned. Except Jesus! And he died so we could be forgiven from our sin. When we accept Jesus, we're so clean. It's like we never, ever, even, ever sinned. Next, we should always be ready to tell others about the awesomeness of Jesus. Just like when we lace up the best shoes to run fast, we need to be prepared to talk about God. So the next piece of the armor of God is shoes of the gospel of peace. Everyone should get a chance to hear God's story and the opportunity to have a relationship with God. God's story is the best foundation for our lives. Next is the shoes of faith. It protects us from the devil's attacks. Oh yeah! In battle, our enemy is constantly attacking us. A shield protects us. And Paul says that our shield is our belief and faith in Jesus. Next, Paul talks about the helmet of salvation. Salvation. Like how Jesus forgives us and heals our relationship with God. When we accept salvation through Jesus, he protects our mind when the devil tries to ruin our thoughts. And last, but not least, the sword of the Spirit. Ah, get behind me, Satan! The sword is God's word. The Bible. All the things God has spoken to his people since the beginning of time. Whenever the devil tries to say we're still sinners, even though Jesus has forgiven us, or when he tries to trick us into doing the wrong things, we have the Bible to show us truth and know God. Paul wanted the people in the church of Ephesus and all the people in all the churches to know that through the Holy Spirit, we have the power to resist the devil's tricks. But we have the gift of the Holy Spirit and the armor of God to make us strong. The Holy Spirit gives us strength. Thanks to Him, we're not alone in our fight.